Muku Kai Pan! <laughs> you got your wide mouth and Winston Shona's balls in the back of the yeah. can. Number one, those are strap arms. Wide mouth, smells, doesn't smell anything anymore. Ooh, oh, yeah! So good, it's naughty. I will oh. say this, that almost is better than sex. If I've already been drinking, like I have been, that was amazing. Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for another fine edition of the preview. You know, after about 450 episodes of this, I'm really per I'm really good at holding my beer in one hand, as you can see. <laughs> he he has, uh, it's a can, but that's okay. Uh, that works. So, what we got tonight is the first ever brew from a brewery called Country Boy Brewing. Country Boy Brewery! And today, or tonight, whichever time you watch it, we feature Halfway Home American Pale Ale. Mm. It clocks in at 5.5% 5, 5 .5 in the can. No, I have it right here. And I'm going to wipe this off so I can read it. <laughs> this is the carrot on the string. Oh. The reminder that you are halfway home and that to that well-deserved reward. It's time to buckle down and get the job done because our easy-drinking pale pears... With yeah, pairs well with yeah, gumption, hard work, and good old stick to envious. <laughs> that's uh, that's all. So, in case you got your yes, yeah. yeah, so you got your government warning, your barcode, and they brag here that they're independent, and they also encourage to recycle. There you go. Wide okay. mouth can. Uh, this, this is oh, and it is yeah canned. Yeah, can seven six of twenty two. So it's incredibly late. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it might be expired. So but, if we uh, barf, that could be the reason. But Country Boy Brewery, so this is our first time. Uh, they were founded in two thousand twelve by four native Kentuckians with a passion for great craft beer. So we have both been to Kentucky. Wonderful people. Yeah, and Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale is about the beer I remember from there. Can this match what they did? Country Boy prides itself on making minimally, minimally. We got a random cat on the bar table. That, yeah. Minimally processed beers with high quality, real ingredients. Their passion hat. for great beer shines through their core brands. Cougar Bait, what? <laughs> Cougar Bait? Cougar Bait, American Blonde Ale, and Shotgun Wedding Vanilla Brown Ale. That's our big signatures. Uh, their recent expansions to Georgetown, Kentucky, was the largest production brewery in the state, will allow them to can their popular Cliff Jumper IPA and Halfway Home Pale Ale in addition to <laughs> several season offerings. So this is one of their big ones, Halfway Home. I think the cat wants to drink. You can He's fuck too off young as a kid. is what you can do. Also, your oldest video was 11 years ago. Yeah, it was. That yeah. sounds about right. Cooking part one, breakfast. Oh, yeah, we were camping in Ocean City. Yeah. Your most viewed video. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Well, I mean, it doesn't have you-know-who in it, so that's why hey! I kept it. Hey, hey, fuck off. Stop shitting on my floor. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so Halfway Home, American Pale Ale from Kentucky, brewed and canned in Country Boy Brewery in Georgetown, Kentucky. So they have a college, I believe. Yeah, so this is our first time ever doing a Country Boy Brewery. So as tradition, as usual, we're going to be opening a can test, a drink test, a draft test, all that good stuff. So without further ado, do you want to open it? I shall open it. Also, your most viewed video has 131,000 views. What, what video was that? that? Three Ways Boot Windows XP 7 and 8. Oh yeah, I booted my <laughs> netbook, my mom's Windows 7 laptop, and my Windows 8, now 10 laptop, together. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I got the most views. Oh, that that smells pale ale. Ben's it's going to end badly the for the whole binge. Ben, like. All right, he's fine. He's fine. He named after Ohio. I, I don't know. Emma named him. Well, she called him monkey, and then she called him flip-flop, and then... Too bad it wasn't monkey, because... <laughs> Although she was hugging him the one day, she goes, You're mine forever until you die. 
So your most viewed brew review. Brew review. It's in Vegas, I'll bet. Reds one. against Angry Orchard. Uh-uh. No? One at 25. Can versus bottle. Miller Lite. Really? Wow! Wait, that passed Reds versus Orchards? Hold on, hold on. You want to know how many views? Well, while you do that, I'm going to drink it. So it has 2,000.3K views. Wow. In eight years. I, I didn't think it would be that much. I thought it was Reds versus Apple. That's been like the most highly rated episode for the longest time. Apparently I guess I haven't looked at stats lately. Apparently, people like cans versus bottles, Miller Lite. <laughs> of course, it is a big box company. Really sucks um, dating naked. It's a pale ale. It's a it's a pale ale. <laughs> That's okay. all I can say about it. Country Boy Brewing, halfway home American Pale Ale. Let's try it. Another brew review is Labor Burst. Labor Burst. Another one was Ying versus Sam, Sam Adams. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. 1,000, 1,000 point, 5, 1.5K. Well, 1. It, it is an IPA, it that's for sure. It. Yeah, well, it's a pale ale. It's not an IPA. It's not as harsh as an IPA. It's, well, it doesn't I, suck, though. Chips. No, no, it's, it's okay. Oh, dark, nice and dark. See, uh, it's taken <laughs> us this entire night to find one that fits perfectly. Thank you. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Wait, that wait, is a nice. Work? That <laughs> is a nice. Fit. Whoa, 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 kitty. Okay. That, that, my friends, is a nice fit. Will the cat drink it? No. Oh, look at the bubbles are are rising. Nice. It gives a nice head. All right. Hey, don't show your butthole in my face. You probably should. Brewerview 37. All right. So you have carbonation resin to the top, a little bit of head there. If it was very the, amber. If it was to the top, that would be what you call a perfect pour. Yeah, but we don't claim to be professionals. No, no, no. Well, we drank half of it, so. But, so I'm going to do the glass test. Go ahead and draft it. Should I get the cat out of here so for when we go? Um, he'll be We'll get him. You left me on the head! Again! Huh. Better than glass, though. I can say that. <laughs> you left me more of the creamy mouthfeel. <laughs> get all... Finish the big load. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> finish the big load? Should I finish the big load? What's left of it? He's gurgling it. <laughs> I'm gurgling it. That was right in me. So now you have one for inside and one for outside. Um. How's the mouth? You know, it's a pale ale. It's okay. But nothing to write home about. I would have wanted to try some of the other flagship beers they have. What are the other two that they had? Uh, the American Blonde Ale and the Shotgun Wedding Vanilla Brown Ale. I would have rather tried those than this one. This was just okay. It's a pale ale. Am I am I right? Or yeah, you, you're like yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm too yeah, blessed at this point. Yeah. Okay, so what do we rate it? It's okay. It's not that. Best. It's okay. It's not the worst either. It's not the best. A three and a half? Because, yeah, it's a pale ale, but it's not harsh. Like you said, it has that grass taste to it. I wouldn't sit down and drink a sixer of it. It don't stick around, though. No, no, no. It, it's good. Um, now, if you compare it to Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale... Yeah, this sucks. But <laughs> as a beer I've never tried before, it's it's decent. It's okay. It's it's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not good. It's eh, 
And that, I think... And it, it didn't go down smooth. I will give it that. Honestly, I think that's the worst thing to say about something is... Okay, so, is, so we're drunk as hell right now, and we can still stomach this. Right, right. <laughs> but I'm going to give it... Well, well, we can pull up Kenny, and we can pull up Kenny and be like, if you've been drinking, like we have been. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to break my tradition and go with Kenny. I'm going to give it a 3.25. Ah. It's good... But it's not going to be something I remember later. But it's also it not terrible. I'm not going to sit back and tell you, Hey, dog, remember when we had Country Boy Brewing Halfway Home America Pale Ale? I'd be like, fuck no. <laughs> You'd be like, what? What the fuck <laughs> is that? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I'm not going to remember this beer. I'm going to remember other beers... Part of the reason we might not remember it is because we're drunk. Possibly. I'll so that, that, might, that might affect well, the readings no. a little bit. It's also because it's not memorable. It doesn't have anything memorable to it. It's good. It's okay. The can doesn't really stick out either. Right. Country Boy Brewery, you're, okay. you're all right. But I want to try that uh, brown vanilla ale. Maybe that's that'll, maybe that'll be in a future episode someday. Possibly we gotta find that shit. What are you looking at? <laughs> uh, he looked at anyway, me. what do you what what do you rate? I rate it well, I didn't hate it. No. I rate it. It was okay. Can was eh, average. Mm. So like if I was to walk through a store and see it, it I would just kinda of walk past it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say a three dot five. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three and a half, an even three and a half. Okay. It was good. It was not harsh, but at the same time, uh, after all the beers we've done, yeah, it doesn't stick out. Don't get me wrong. It was good. It's just not memorable. And I think that's the worst thing you can say about a beer is you're not gonna remember this shit years down the road when you're walking through a beer distributor. And Say I happen to be out in Kentucky and I crash a party and someone offers me one. Yeah, sure. What right, the hell, right. I'll drink yeah. it. You'll look at it and be like, oh yeah, I remember that. But you're not going to go through a beer distributor and see a six pack of it and be like, oh man, that was amazing. No, there are too many others that I would rather buy over this. Yeah. So, this is what you call a... Eh. This is what <laughs> you call a, I come to the party and you offer it to me, I'll drink it type of thing. Right. Beer. Right, exactly. It's a, hey, the, you want a beer? This is what I got. And you're like, yeah, I'll take that. Sure, we'll look at it. So, anyway. All the kids so, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and this whole binge featuring Country Boy Brewing, Halfway Home we, American Pale we, Ale from we, Kentucky. We end with this and we end with a pussy in the camera. Well, hold on, before you go, their, your least view video had 19 views and was. S R V D more about uh, Ed. Stupid random video of the day. Yeah. Which I haven't done in a while. That was. Anyway. Yeah, we'll see you next binge. See you later.